Hello there. It's time for the winter check of Lucanus Cervus Acbesianus. I have three 322 liter boxes that I want to just go through, have a look uh, whether there are some more larvae. I already checked these boxes once and took out all the larvae that I could find. Now it's uh, time for the second uh, check. Here. It seems a little bit wet. The boxes were kept in a cool cellar, 20 degrees, the absolute maximum. Normally there are temperatures that are, uh, are between 10 and 20 degrees. So look at this nice hole here. I think if we go through this part here. This is typical of the situation how they are just making a hole in the middle of the block keeping the outside uh, uh, hard so that nothing can reach them from outside like a bird who is picking or something like that so they hide inside kind of these caves probably there is another larvae here let's have a look turn them over oh, could be there. Here's, a, here's a larva one not too big it's an L2 Lucanus terus occupationus yes, I have some more of this beech wood here but it's it seems a little bit uh, too wet here so that's the traces of the larva so let's see whether we find something more here that's pretty wet now it's uh, one of the problems that we have if we leave the, the larva too long in a box it tends to to get wetter and wetter, compact, more and more compacted until the larvas, uh, larvae, they don't like it anymore and sometimes they also have a problem to build a pupil chamber in here, so and this one is another larva I will take this larva to this side The larva of a click beetle, it would be very nice for the, for the larvas of our animals. So this one I have to check, it's too wet, the substrate. I think um, we will fill uh, here a little bit of the dry, dry substrate and just place the... the so, that's it little bit dry substrate here and now I just uh, put this lower like this this piece like this and also this one I just place it back more or less as it was they try to cover it again and now let's see the second box where we find the same thing here also here it looks pretty wet this is a piece of oak partly eaten by the lorry and sculptured. Yeah, very nice. So we can also use this as food for the other lorry here. Let's see if we find some more. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty nice, except for the worms that I really don't like in this mass. Is here. Although it seems to be a bit too wet for this kind of. Oh, something looks here. This is the, the wood block where they live. Here is a larva is looking out of this. Yes, you can, I think you can see it. There's a hole here, and the larva is just looking out of this hole. Also, here's a hole. Also, here seems to be something going on. And I will also place this log 
and to the other box with dry substrate so that it is not too wet like it seems here. That could be also one of the points why the lorries went completely into this wood blocks to hide there. So let's put it in this and here in the box I don't see anything anymore. There are no lorries here in the top track probably because of the of these too many walls here. And I have the third box and I want to see what happened in there. And then the next generation is safe anyway because I already have about uh, 30 or more lorry here. This was a box where I had an egg, but this I don't see anything here. Let's go to see whether we find something more in a, in this. Yeah, also here it seems that a lorry is hidden inside this block. Must be in here. Can't open it too hard, but it sounds hollow inside. So, yeah, we could try to open it just to show to show it. I know it's a little bit dangerous, but let's try it. Uh, wait a week, just for showing you. So you see that's typical view for Lucano's Cervus. The larva sits here in this tunnel. It went through the whole piece of wood. Now it's sitting in this little hole here. I don't know whether you can see it from here. Otherwise she's, yeah, she's a little bit down here in this hole. I think you can see it better from this side here. And of course I don't want to disturb her anymore here. Just close it also like this. And we will keep it like that. Also part of this theater. But I think there's another piece of wood down here where we could have a look. Yeah, it seems also that here some of this Shredded material came out. Also here you see a hole, but there must be a larva in this piece of wood too. And the substrate here looks a little bit better, not so many worms. So oh, that looks pretty nice here for them. So I think we just have a look. No, there's nothing. Anymore and now what I do I just place back these two pieces of wood. That's a natural quite natural situation like in the in the root system in the forest uh, you can find them like this and I think I put this one into the other box here. So if we want to delete it. And now uh, that's the setting. How we keep them for the next uh, year. Because um, they will stay for sure until next November. That's about in a year. Uh, in the larval stage. Otherwise they would have... Um, been already here as adults at this time in January, so we are sure now that the was uh, they stay here another half a year, and we can just put them in the cellar, same place, and come back to see. I would say in October 2015. Thanks for watching.